please subscribe math.com for any query, comment or email. Hello everyone. Our today's topic is on SIRDs. What are SIRDs? SIRDs are basically an irrational radical with a rational radicand. In simple words we can say a SIRD is a number left in the radical and we cannot simplify it. For example, uh, as these definitions are looking something dif difficult but they are not as much difficult as they are uh, they are looking like so let's start from the example if you are given first we will uh, uh, understand the few terminologies so that you can easily understand its definition if i, I will ask and what is equal to under root 4 under root 4 is equals to 2 and if i will ask you what is equal to under root 2 what you will say under root 2 is equals to 1.4142135 up to so on okay so this means that this number uh, number is given you a definite value of 2 this means that this number is a rational number okay because it is giving you with the uh, with the result that is a rational and is also a result that is definite that is not that is not going on forever without repeating itself okay so both of these are rational numbers okay but when i will ask find the under root 2 then you will be uh, then you will give the answer of 1.4142135 from here we deduce that this is the number under uh, under root 2 is a rational number but when you simplify its uh, 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 under root, when, when you simplify the radical sign, uh, when you take the square root, then what you will get? You get an irrational number. A number that is going on forever uh, without repeating itself. So, we can say here that what is the difference between these two numbers? This number is what? This is num number is not a third. But then what is third? This is called a third. This is a third. But why? There are few things that we will discuss later. But currently keep one thing in mind. This is third because it is giving you with the answer that is irrational number. Okay. That it means that the number under the under root sign. Uh, the number under the radical sign is not cannot be solved further until we solve it in a way that it will give you with the non terminating number okay so um, you can solve under root 4 it is equal to 2 you can solve under root 16 that is equal to 4 but you cannot solve under root 2 under root 3 under root 5 and so on and if you solve them you get a number that is going on forever this is the difference between a third and a number that is not a third okay so keep few terminologies here in your mind that this is called radicand so that you can easily understand its definition as well. Okay. And this sign is called radical sign. Okay. So now let's discuss its definition. Its definition says that an irrational radical. Now the radical is this square root sign. Now how it will become irrational? It means that the uh, if we convert this radical what we will get we can say that 4 will 1 by 2 and this is the radical and it is irrational okay so that's why in the definition it is written that irrational radical with a rational radicand and this is a radicand and this is what this is rational why rational because it is terminating number it is a definite number so, if you came across any number that is having a radicand that is rational and the uh, uh, radical that is irrational, then you can only say that, this, that the given number is a third. Okay. So, let's, uh, let's check, it, check out how you can identify whether the certain given number is a radicand, uh, is a third or not. Okay. Examples are, let's have the exa few examples. Okay. So, examples are like under root 3. How we can check whether it is a third or not? Let's see. First, we will see its radicand. This is a radicand. 
is this uh, rational yes 3 is a rational number it means uh, this condition is satisfied then we will see its radical sign okay or its power or its order okay we can also say this is the order okay so it it is clear here that it is irrational number it's it has a irrational radical so we can say that under root 3 is a third so under root 3 is a third now another example is under root 9 can you say that it is a third no we cannot say because if we find its factors we can write as 3 into 3 that is which can further be written as 3 square and when it is cancelled out we will get 3 there is no radical sign here and for a third a radical sign is must so we can say that this is not a third okay so a few more examples if you are having a number like under root 10 let's check out how you can find it first if you first you have to find the factors so the factors of 10 are under root 2 into 5 okay now can you simplify it further no there is no square here so we have to write the number as it is again so now we will check whether the radicand is a rational number yes the radicand is a rational number then we have to see check its radical that is irrational yes the rational is the radical is irrational so we can say that under root 10 is a third okay so one, uh, one we can take few more examples like this like under root 4 we'll find its factors what we get is under root 2 square it is cancelled out and we get 2 so can we say that 2 is a third 2 is not a third i hope so you will be able to understand the concept of a third now let's take a, a something different example if you are given with the number like under root pi and you will be asked to check whether it is a third or not how you will see that now it is clear from here that under root pi pi value is 3.14 up to so on it is not a definite value so for a third you have to check whether this number is a rational or not is this rational number is this rational number no this is not a rational number this is irrational number it means that this number is not a third for a third the radicand must be a rational number so from here we have evaluated a fact as you can say it is a note and keep in your mind that every third is an irrational number okay but every irrational number is not a third so it is clear from the above example as 3.14 is an irrational number but it is not a third okay so you have to keep this fact in your mind okay so one more thing here one concept is very important while discussing the third that most of the people confuse the term like if i write like this 5 and a 3 here or 3 under root 5 now what is the difference between them there is a big difference between them this means the cube root of 5 okay and what does this mean this means a square root of 5 with a 3 multiplying factor okay so there is a big difference between them okay so uh, here uh, here the uh, here the order is 3 uh, or uh, this is a third order third okay and this is second order third okay so keep in mind the difference between them so that's what that's all about what are what is third what are the different example and how you can identify and whether the given number is a third or not in our next lecture we will see the different operations on third how you can um, uh, add or subtract the third and what are the different laws required to um, uh, do the uh, multiple operations on them. thank you for watching if you like this video please don't forget to subscribe our channel math.com for more updates thank you